This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create an insert mesh curve brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up here, and I'm gonna select a model that I wanna turn into the insert mesh curve brush. So over here in the tool palette, I have one created already, and this was just modeled using the ZModeler brush out of a cylinder primitive, and I have some creasing implied as well, so if I turn on dynamic subdivision, I'm gonna end up with a result like this. So the first thing you need to do to create an insert mesh curve brush is just create an insert mesh like normal. So I'm gonna have my model on my canvas here. I'm gonna make sure perspective is turned off. I'm just gonna make sure it's in the orientation of how I want it to be drawn when I draw it on the surface of my model. So after it looks like so, you can have this placed anywhere on your canvas here. Just come over to the brush palette up here and go to create insert mesh. Now you're gonna get a little dialogue asking if you'd like to append it or create a new one. We're just gonna hit new on this one. And after this is created, you should have a new brush over here in your brush palette. So now if I go back to my polysphere here, this polysphere does not have any subdivisions. And I draw this out like so, it's just going to draw out like your normal insert mesh brush. So to turn it into a curve brush, you just need to come over here to the stroke modifier up here, open up this curve menu and activate curve mode. So now when you have curve mode activated, if I come across the surface of my model and draw out now, it's going to take that shape that we have created for the insert mesh brush, and it's going to repeat it along the curve there. So I can adjust the draw size on this and draw it out again. It's gonna allow you to get larger versions of that shape applied across a curve. Now you can come through and just click after you draw the curve to erase the last curve you drew, and then just come through and keep drawing this out like so. So that is how you can create a simple repeating insert mesh curve brush. So it's gonna take whatever insert mesh object you have and it's going to repeat it across the curve. So the other type of insert mesh curve brush you can create is a tri-parts brush. So I'm gonna navigate back to my original tool here. Now to create a tri-parts brush, you just need to have your insert mesh broken up into three polygroups and you want the polygroups to be aligned vertically. So this mesh here just currently has one polygroup. So I'm gonna use the ZModeler brush and I'm gonna highlight this edge in the middle here, and I'm gonna to go to Insert Multi-Edge Loops, and I'm gonna come through here and just click and drag, and I'm gonna drag it out until I get three divisions through here. So I have one edge here and another edge here. So now I just need to come through and I'm gonna make this top part one polygroup, this middle part a polygroup, and this bottom part a polygroup. And this is gonna allow you to have this as your start point on your curve. It's going to repeat the middle polygroup, and then it's going to end with that other polygroup. So I'm just gonna apply a single polygroup to this entire model by hitting Control and W. And now I'm going to hold Control and Shift and hide the top part. So Control Shift plus Alt, which will give me this red box. And then when I deselect, it's going to hide that part. Then I'm gonna hit Control W again, which is gonna give me a new polygroup just to the visible parts. Draw out that selection box again with Control and Shift and hold Alt, and then release to hide the next part and then hit Control W to give a new polygroup to the bottom. Now I'm gonna hold Control and Shift and click off on the canvas and it's gonna bring all my visibility back. So now I have this model broken up into three polygroups. So this is the start one, this is going to be the one that's going to be repeated, and this is the end. So after I have this done, I just need to come back to my brush palette up here and just click Create Insert Mesh. And we're just gonna hit New on that. And now I should have a new Insert Mesh brush created. So I'm gonna go back to my polysphere here. Now, if I just draw this out normally, you're gonna notice it's just going to draw it out as a normal insert mesh brush again. So we need to go back to stroke, go to the curve option here and turn on curve mode. Now, when you draw this out, you're going to notice that it's going to have that start point and the end point, and then it's going to repeat that middle polygroup all the way through to the end of that curve. Now, the default settings on this, as soon as you just turn on curve there, it's not going to weld these areas through here. So if you want this to be a one seamless stroke across the model, we can go over to our brush palette over here. We can open up the modifiers tab here. And right down here, you'll see a tri-parts switch. And next to the switch, there is a weld points one. So we're gonna activate weld points. So now if I come back to my model and draw it out that curve again, you're gonna see that it's going to weld the points in between. And now I'm gonna have a continuous curve all the way through. 
So this is a quick way to make different kind of elements or shapes for your models. Now I can adjust the depth quick too, because right now it's just sticking on the surface like so. So if I go back to my brush modifier here, I can go to depth, and I can change this embed volume. We're gonna change it down a little bit here. And now when I draw it out, I'm creating something like this. So if you wanna do some sort of crazy trim patterns on your model, you can simply draw those out, then I can click to clear the curve, draw another one, click to clear, draw another one, click to clear, draw another one, and click. And you can see now I have all those curves drawn out on the surface of the model. Now, since I had the original insert mesh shape with those creases already applied, I can come through and now just activate dynamic subdivision. And you're gonna notice that these are giving me nice, clean results on the surface of the model there. So that is the two methods to create a insert mesh curve brush. So you have the one that will just repeat the insert mesh, and then you have the try parts option, which will take those three polygroups and it'll make the first polygroup the starter one, the middle one will be the repeat, and then the last one will be the end. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.